Good morning learners. Myself Dr. Arvind Bhatt. I am associate professor in Department of Mathematics, Uttarakhand Open University, Haldwani. Today's topic is derivability at a point, continuity, continuity, and differentiability. Differentiability or derivability are important topics of analysis. Now we are describing what is a derivability at a point. First of all, what is a differentiable P or derivability? Derivability at a point. It is a basic lecture. Before derivability, uh, the continuity comes and we know about the continuity. Uh, what is a continuous function? How a function is continuous at a point? And how a function is not continuous at a point. Now starting uh, our lecture in beginning, I am defining what is a derivability at a point or differentiability at a point. Let F be a real valued function defined on on an interval an interval i equal to close interval a b contained in r r is the set of real number it is set to be it is set to be derivable or differentiable at an interior point interior point C C is lying from open interval AB Open interval AB If S tending to 0 F of C plus H minus F of C upon H or limit X tending to C Fx minus Fc upon X minus C exists. This is the definition. If S tending to 0 Fc plus H minus F of C upon H or limit X tending to C Fx minus Fc upon X minus C exists. Then a function is differentiable or derivable at a point. It is a definition of differentiability or derivability at a point. Example, uh, some examples are fx equal to mod x. It is a very interesting example. It is continuous at origin, but it is not differentiable yet on or not derivable at x equal to 0. It can be proved easily. Similarly, example fx equal to x square sine of 1 upon x 0 if x 
not equal to 0 and if x equal to 0, it is a 0. Examples are fx equal to x square sin 1 upon x. If x is not equal to 0 and if x equal to 0, in this example, f dash x is not continuous at x equal to 0, but f dash 0 exists. It means f dash 0 is existing, but f dash x is not continuous at x equal to 0. Clear? And this is an example f x equal to mod x. This is a continuous, but not a differentiable at x equal to 0. And now we are proof, we are proofing the theorems. A function which is which is derivable it means differentiable at a point at a point is necessary continuous at that point, at that point. This is a basic theorem of derivability theory. It means every differentiable function is necessarily continuous. The proof is very interesting and very simple. Proof. Let a function, let a function f be derivable at x equal to c. Hence by definition, hence by definition f dash c equal to limit x tending to c fx minus fc upon x minus c exists by the definition of derivability. If a function is derivable at x equal to c, it means f dash c equal to limit x tending to c fx minus c fc upon x minus c exists. It means we can write a simple operation, simple operation f of x minus f of c can write in the form of fx minus f of c upon x minus c into x minus c. Clear? Where x is not equal to c. Taking limit, taking limits as x tending to c. We have, we have limit x tending to c means we have, if we are taking the limit x tending to c, it means we have limit x tending to c fx minus f of c 
equal to limit x tending to c fx minus fc upon x minus c into limit x tending to c x minus c limit x tending to c means x minus c it will be zero it means and this is a definition of derivative at a point so it means it will be equal to f dash c into zero equal to zero it means we have proved that we have proved that limit x tending to c fx minus fc equal to 0 it means limit x tending to c fx equal to x tending to c equal to f of c f of c it means f is continuous at x equal to 0 it means if a function is differentiable then it means f is continuous then it is a, our end of our lecture the next lecture will be on differentiability theorem and thank you